Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to determine the derivative of a logarithmic function. And we have two formulas. The first formula is about the derivative of a logarithm u to base b that is equal to 1 over u times the logarithm of e to base b times the derivative of u with respect to x. Yung ating e diyan is a constant value. If, still, if, if you still remember, na-discuss ko to sa inyo, nasa grade 10 kayo, uh, yung constant value P is equal to 2.71828. That is, nang, nang galing yan dun sa ating expression, 1 plus 1 over x raised to x. And upon investigation, as x approaches infinity, this expression is approaching to a constant value, which is 2.71828. Okay? And we have the second formula for natural, natural logarithm, derivative of ln u with respect to x is equal to 1 over u times derivative of u with respect to x. And also, sinulat ko na rin dito yung properties of logarithms na na-discuss ko rin sa inyo nung kayo nasa math elective pa ng grade 10. We have the logarithm of a product xy to base b that is equal to logarithm of x to base b plus logarithm of y to base b. So, naging sum yung ating product na xy. Para sa logarithm of a quotient, that is equal to the logarithm of the numerator to base b minus logarithm of the denominator to base b. For a um, power, the logarithm of a power is equal to r log of x to base b. So, ibig sabihin, yung exponent will be multiplied to the logarithm of x to base b to simplify this logarithm of x to r to base b. Also, keep in mind, that e to the ln x is equal to x, and ln e to the x is also equal to x. And uh, ln x, kung tandaan nyo, of course, that is the logarithm of x to base e. Okay? Doon nagmula yung ating natural logarithm. So, I'm not going to derive anymore all of these properties of logarithms kasi na-discuss ko na sa inyo nung kayo grade pa. I suggest, buksan nyo yung inyong mga notes nung sa math elective natin nung grade din kayo para ma-refresh ma kayo about properties of logarithm. And let's find out kung magagamit natin ito lahat uh, sa pag-solve ng uh, derivative ng logarithmic, logarithmic functions. Pero I think ito magagamit talaga natin pagdating doon sa ating uh, derivative of exponential functions. Okay? We have example number one. Find dy over dx dito sa dalawang functions natin. We have y equals log quantity 4x plus 3 to base 5. Okay, so what we're going to do is to determine both sides of the equation with respect to x. So, ang gagamitin nating formula ay yung nauna. Okay, ang ating b ay 5 at ang ating u ay 4x plus 3. So, solve natin. So, we determine d over dx on both sides. Apply natin yung formula. So, therefore, dy over dx is equal to, ang u natin, is 4x plus 3. So, itong ating u, itong ating b. Okay? So, magiging 1 over u daw. So, 1 over 4x plus 3 times log e to base b, which happens to be 5 times derivative pa nung ating u. Ang u natin ay 4x plus 3. Okay? So, this is equal to 1 over 4x plus 3 log e to base 5 times derivative of 4x is 4 and the derivative po ng 3 natin is 0. So, simplify lang natin. This will be multiplied to the coefficient of the logarithm, hindi dun sa e natin. So, therefore, we have 4 log e to base 5 all over 4x plus 3. So, yun yung ating sagot para sa dy over dx dun sa ating example number 1. Okay? At para naman dun sa second example, ln ito, natural logarithm. So, ang gagamitin natin yung second formula. Okay? So, we have so, dito ang ating ui, um, ito, 
Yan ang ating u, which is uh, 2x plus 1 raised to 4. Okay? Yan ang ating u. So, gamit yung formula, by the way, this is equal to y. We have dy over dx is equal to 1 over u. Ang u natin ay ito. 1 over 2x plus 1 raised to 4 times derivative pa ng ating u with respect to x. So, d over dx of 2x plus 1 raised to 4. Now, so, gagamit muna tayo dito ng power rule. Okay? Kantan ng ating power rule ng derivative. Kung tandaan nyo pa, derivative of u to the n equal to n u n minus 1 times derivative of u with respect to x. Okay? So, ang ating n ay 4. Ang ating u ay 2x plus 1. Okay? So, we have 1 over 2x plus 1 raised to 4 times multiply the power of n to the coefficient of 2x plus 1. So, we have 4 quantity 2x plus 1 decrease 4 by 1 so magiging 3 na lang times derivative pa nung ating uh, u so happens ang u natin dito ay 2x plus 1 okay so we have dy over dx so cancel na lang muna natin to so may matitirang isang 2x plus 1 sa baba so magiging 4 over 2x plus 1. So, 4 over 2x plus 1 times derivative ni 2x is 2, derivative ni 1 is 0. Okay? Di ko na nilagay. So, therefore, dy over dx is equal to 2 times 4 is 8. 8 over 2x plus 1. So, yun ang sagot natin para sa ating example number 2. Okay? So, that is how we can determine the derivative of logarithmic functions. I'm going to give you another examples dito sa topic nating differentiation of logarithmic functions do sa aking next video. Thank you.